this was another important research area in the mid 17th century well first of all because uh, ancient mathematicians Greek mathematicians such as Apollonius had proved many interesting theorems about tangents and uh, um, we should not underestimate that uh, these mathematicians tried to emulate the ancients tried to uh, they, they even tried to um, divine, to reconstruct what the ancients had done. And um, um, the importance of uh, uh, relating uh, uh, one's research to ancient exemplars was very important. Another reason, uh, another reason I would say, comes from applications again. For instance, in optics, you will be interested in studying if you have a lens, uh, how you can draw a tangent to this lens, because you will be able to apply the law of refraction to the lens uh, easily by conceiving the lens uh, as flat, let us say so, uh, uh, and in the point where the tangent touches the curve uh, uh, representing the lens. But um, in mechanics, of course, uh, tangents are important because uh, if you have a body which moves uh, uh, in space uh, and this body describes a plane curve, uh, the tangent to this plane curve will give you the direction of motion. Another research field that is related both to geometry and to mechanics is the study of uh, curvature of curves. Because as uh, Huygens and then Newton understood very well, the curvature of a trajectory is a measure of the force acting on the body. To be more precise, the normal component of total force at a point of a trajectory is proportional to the square of the speed divided the radius of curvature of the curve at that point. And so a geometrical problem, the problem of calculating the curvature of a plane curve, was read by Newton and by his contemporaries as a problem related to the study of force acting on a body.